Also, y'all, I had a nice little edit in the beginning. And I took this little edit and I posted it as a short, as a little teaser for the upcoming video. But then it got removed by YouTube like 10 minutes later. So, uh, yeah. Thankfully, I only got a warning, not a strike. And, um, well, I posted it on my Twitter, so it was a good little edit. Put a little bit of effort into that edit, so if y'all want to check it out on Twitter, that'd be really cool. And, uh, yeah, that's about it, man. Let's get on to the video. Alright y'all, what's up? It's your man's Cash here, and today we're going to talk about the basest game that you have never heard of. That's right guys, today we are talking about Fursano Aksa. <laughs> Now, what is Forsano Aksa? Well, Forsano Aksa is a game where you play as... <sighs> Damn, I'm gonna get banned from YouTube, bro. You play as a Palestinian resistance fighter against Zionists. Okay, you know, that's a nice concept, but what is the game, though? What is the story of the game? Well, you play as Ahmed Palestine. Now, what's up with Ahmed Palestini? Mr. Ahmed Palestini was a chill dude, you know, he was living his life, right? He went to college and everything. One day, he was coming back from college and there was a protest going on. Now, he saw the protest and he decided to mind his own business and just walk past it, but nah. He was not about to avoid that protest because he walked by it. The army done got him. They done arrested him for a good 20 years. During that time, his cousin came to visit him in his prison and his cousin was like, yeah, man, your parents are dead and everything, bro. It's how life is, bro. But Ahmed Faustini didn't think that's just how life is. He got mad, bro. He done got mad. And then he became Palestinian Rambo. And so that's how we got to where we are right now. But yeah, you know, that's a nice story. But what's the gameplay like? Well, you see, in Fursano Oxley, you play as Ahmed Faustini. And we, you go through different missions. You do different objectives. And you complete these objectives to complete the mission. It's a simple gameplay loop. Not too complicated, not no open world, just straight linear, not very story based. So there are two Fursano Uxa games. We got Fursano Uxa Classic and we got Fursano Uxa Remake. So let's talk about the classic. The classic was released in I think 2021, I'm not sure. It was made in Unreal Engine 3. So it looks like an Xbox 360 game. In fact, it does run on the Xbox 360, but you gotta go through a lot of hoops to get it running on the Xbox and the PlayStation 3. It's uh, it's pretty dated, I'm not gonna lie, even when it came out. So let's, let's talk a little bit about the missions in Persona Oxa Classic. As I said earlier, you do objectives. Every mission has a different type of objective. Some missions, you might have to find IED. Some missions, you might have to open saves and you know, yada yada. It's not that kind of okay. Every mission has a small little cutscene in it and they have like a little, uh, I don't know, I guess you would call it a showcase, right? Like a little uh, something different. So, like for example, in the first mission after the tutorial, uh, you get to uh, fly a drone, and uh, you get to destroy the other drone. And in the mission after that, there's a boss fight, and you know what I'm saying. Every mission has a little set piece. I don't really have uh, the time nor the willingness to edit uh, and talk about every single uh, mission in the game. But I'm gonna say there's one mission where you have. Uh, you have, a, you have a Zionist soldier over a crane on the sea and a whole shark comes out of the sea to eat him, bro. That, 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 that's the kind of game that Persona Oxa is, you know what I mean? In fact, in FA Classic, there's actually a multiplayer mode, only local though. However, if you're on Steam, there is a way to do a type of remote play. And so you can you can technically play uh, 1v1s in FA Classic. Now, let's talk about F.A. Remake. This is the newer Fursano Oxen game after people said that uh, F.A. Classic was outdated, which it is, you know, the, the aiming is pretty painful in F.A. Classic and the difficulty is, you know, Lord have mercy. But anyways, in this game, we only have two missions right now. However, there are, I think, 12 confirmed missions for this game. But yeah, let's talk about the two missions that we do have, right? Our first mission is you're going into an Israeli military camp, right? And we see the first cutscene. We see Bull flying down from a parachute. 
He sneaks up on a soldier, cuts off his head, and then throws a sword into his head. Hmm. Does it look kind of familiar? Because it's from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> It straight ripped the animation from Mortal Kombat, but I'm not hating though. I think it looks fire And that's that's how we start the game. That's your intro to FA remake This game got a lot better controls. The movement is so smooth. We got wall running. We got rolling in the air We got double jump. You know what I'm saying the movement like we could make this game Mirror's Edge 3 bro Mirror's Edge, Palestinian edition. But anyway, the movement is so much better. The aiming is so much better. The animations, the the bullet time, all of that. Bro. And there isn't too much to this mission. Uh, it is a little bit empty because it's kind of more of a like a tutorial mission, sort of like just something for you to get used to. But then we get to second mission, a really nice set piece. I'm not gonna lie. You're in Janine. Now you know Janine uh, has appeared on the media a little bit, you know, recently because some armies are a little boring. Board. But anyway, we getting political over here. We don't need to get political here. But anyways, we got the Janine mission. So in Janine, you walk in, you got the sniper, you jump in, you explode. I love these over-the-top funny-ass cutscenes, bro. Like, when I saw this cutscene for the first time, I was laughing for a good. It's just so over-the-top. No game developer wants to do something like this, bro. But this developer, bro, Nidal Nijum. I, I definitely messed up that name, but Nidal Nijum, bro. He a funny motherfucker, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> and when we're playing Janine, there's a lot more buildings. You know, there's a lot more, uh... What do you call it? Vert, vert, oh verticality. Oh, hell, this guy is what fucking fuck stupid. There's a lot more verticality. There's a lot more freedom and movement. Really nice mission, though it is kind of hard to find the objective. The objective is that you're supposed to find like these batteries or something and then uh, anti-air missiles. I, I don't really remember, but it is kind of hard to find them. Hey, there's a guide on Steam if y'all are interested. But yeah, guys, so for Sano Luxa, what would I give it a rating of, man? I'm rating both classic and remake. I didn't even know this was a review. I just came up with this while recording, all right? Cause uh, I'm very spontaneous here. But look, for the, for the rating, I have to say, I give it a seven out of 10, bro. The classic has a lot of faults, such as uh, very good, very stiff movement, uh, confusing aiming, and uh, very high difficulty. Like, you see the difficulty of Fursano Oxa classic is akin to Dark Souls. But Dark Souls or FA Classic? I'm gonna have to say FA Classic. I mean, it's still a fun game to play, but you're gonna have to set aside a bit of time. And for the remake, 10 out of 10, bro. Like, all I can ask for the remake is a multiplayer mode. That's all I want, man. If I need this multiplayer, bro. I need a co-op. I need a PvP, bro. I need that, bro. All right, guys. Yeah, so that's my review. You know what? There's a free demo on Steam if you want to check it out. It's the first mission of FA Remake. If you're bored and you want something to do and try it out, I recommend it. You know what? If you got $15 to spare, bro, you just buy the full game. And if you like the demo, buy the game. You know what I mean? I'm not sponsored, but I've talked to the developer a couple times. You know what I'm saying? I like his game. I like his enthusiasm. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to make a video on this game. But yeah, you know what? That's the end of the video. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Share the video with your friends. And you know what? I'm going to see y'all in the next one. And if this audio is stuttering, bro, I'm actually going to kill myself. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. See y'all in the next one. Peace.